Hi, I'm Jeff Sangstack, the author of this Infinite Skills course on using 3D in Photoshop Extended. 3D in Photoshop is kind of like some mysterious treasure buried deep inside Photoshop. People know it's somewhere down there. Some people go looking for it, but hardly anybody finds it or uses it. But I'm here to tell you, it is an amazing feature inside Photoshop. There's so much you can do with it, and it's not all that difficult to create some amazingly beautiful things. In this course, I'm going to take you through virtually all of the 3D features inside Photoshop. Let me show you a few of them. We'll start off with this image right here. These two things, the transparent ring and the reflective text like that, are things you can build inside Photoshop in about two minutes really easily. Isn't that something? Photoshop has a number of presets. You can create cylinders, spheres, wine bottles, cones, pyramids, several different things. I'll show you some right now. Go to this blank slate here. Go to Mesh from Preset. Make a wine bottle. You can put things on it. You can put colors, text, Labels, what have you. I'll just show you some quick things here with some colors. We add a color to that one, some wine colored thing, I would guess, right? Go up a little higher and create a slightly different color, like so. Even top it off there with the cork material, as they call it. We'll make it red. Something like that. Fairly easy to do, right? Or you can extrude text. I'll add one more layer here and show you how to do that. Just get the type tool here and add some text. And we will extrude that into 3D very easily. Just click that, click that, and now we have extruded text. And just as with the bottle, we can put some colors on it, but we can do some other things as well. Let me show you that. We could distort it. We can have it kind of wrap around on itself like that. Have it go off into the distance. Twist it around on itself. Or we can give it bevels, beveled front or back or both, like so. And after we give it a bevel, we can color all of those guys. We give the front a little different color like that. Give the bevel a different color, slightly different color. And give the extrusion, they call it, even a different color besides that. Make it obviously different, something like that. That's what you can do with text. You can take simple shapes and turn them into 3D objects just by extruding this and then wrapping it around on itself. Like so. Instant bottle. How about that? Once again, we can put a label on it, different colors, whatever you like. After we do these things, we can place these things into scenes like this. Here we have a sphere and this text inside this pastoral scene there. We can place it in there and have shadows fall on the scene, have it match the contours of the scene. If we want to change the lighting, we can. There are lighting presets, or we can do some custom lighting. Here's a lighting preset to kind of simulate dawn, something like that. We'll work with third-party 3D models. This horse is a 3D model, if you haven't figured that out already. We can put him in a scene like this, or in a separate scene like this, off in the distance someplace. Let me click away so you can get a better look at it like that. We can also place objects inside 3D objects. This hat is a model provided to us, and we're going to put it on this man's head. Right now you can see that it's going in front of his ears. We're going to wrap it around behind his ears and cover up his hair with this hat. Or we can make our own 3D models. The sphere is easy to make along with that pyramid, and we can place them inside each other like this. Let me just kind of show you the tour of the landscape here real quick. Looks something like this. We have a light actually inside the globe illuminating that pyramid. We can create our own custom objects like this glass. I made this glass out of two circles. That's all it took to make this glass. We'll make this window frame out of just a couple of black lines. We can have light go through it, casting that colorful looking shadow, having light reflecting off the front of it with this tint like that. We can assemble models from various parts. We can put together this model, for example, from six different elements to create the whole space shuttle. And after we're done, we can export this as a 3D model in one of five different standard 3D file types. And then people can open it up and don't have to worry about assembling it from six different parts again. And all the parts are movable, of course. We can create shadow catchers to simulate a 3D space. These are shadow catchers here, these two blue walls and the blue floor, to get a shadow off of this donut. When we're done, we will turn off the visibility of these shadow catchers and also turn off that shadow off in the distance so it looks like this flat surface, which is just a graphic there, this flat surface has perspective. Same thing for this bowl here. We place the sphere inside the bowl. This sphere is a separate 3D object, and it's throwing a shadow on a shadow catcher, a curved surface that's invisible but then displays shadows. One of the amazing features of Photoshop is that you can animate 3D objects, like so. You can animate the lights, you can animate the objects, you can animate the camera angle, animate the colors, all sorts of things over time. And then you can export these guys as videos or still image sequences. Here's one where we animate just a part of the 3D object like that. 
So we're going to cover a lot of ground in this course. There are many things you can do with the 3D features inside Photoshop. And I do want to reinforce that this is Photoshop Extended. The 3D features are not in the standard version, only the extended version. If you don't have the extended version, that doesn't mean you can't follow along. You can always download a trial copy from Adobe and use that for a month while you learn these features and then decide if you want to upgrade. It's going to be a lot of fun. There are a lot of really cool things you can do with 3D inside Photoshop.